father judge um, was um, brought into uh, what happened he is the first known uh, casualty of first reported casualty of September 11th um, he was brought in here uh, because it was so uh, obviously chaos uh, everything was happening uh, they didn't really know a, a safe place uh, to place him. Uh, they placed him here uh, at the altar, and this is the uh, the church uh, where he was placed at the altar. Um, St. Peter's Church, located, man, uh, maybe roughly. You know, three blocks from World Trade Center, if even. It's a very nice church, very big church. Um, the church um, served as kind of like a, a staging ground as well during the September 11th um, aftermath for rescue and recovery operations. This was the first place, the church, where they were bringing all the uh, emergency equipment. Eventually, uh, in October, Mass was being said here again in this church, uh, but the Masses were cut down because um, a lot of people that went to this, uh, to, the, to the Masses here, uh, were no longer with us. Uh, they worked at the World Trade Center. So I just thought, um, you know, I was in the area, I just thought I'd give you a look of how the church looked. Um, if you go on Wikipedia, you find that the church almost looks the same as it did in the early 1900s. So this is a, a real f fascinating church. Um, here too. Uh, if you just wanted to add this father judge uh, if you're not familiar with him that's kind of the iconic picture that's been circulating uh, he was being carried by a, a fireman and uh, a civilian if I'm not mistaken from uh, from the wreckage uh, that was father judge uh, it's that iconic picture that has been uh, seen everywhere uh, we'll speak very soon. Just uh, wanted to put this up there. Uh, you know, this is uh, unfortunately uh, part of history. I hope all is well.